Hello lovely people. So Joe here today. Today I'm going to make something different. But before I tell you, you know what? Show us some love on this channel. You want to get to 400 and 500 subscribers? So if you come here every time, why don't you just press the subscribe button and also the like button. And I am going to repurpose my soup, one of my soups. I love making fresh foods, but sometimes when I'm a bit down, say today, I'm a bit down with migraine, so I don't want to cook from scratch. What I'm doing is I have some light soup, which I'm going to turn into some inkatsu be, which is palm nut soup and granite soup, all mixed and mushed together. So stay tuned. So this is the beginning of, I mean, everything I'm, I'm making now. And this is the rice balls that I'm making. So if you're making the rice balls, what I do is soak the rice in water for about, I mean, 50 minutes in warm water to soften the rice and also to take off all the phytic acid and all those stuff on the, on the rice. And I double my water. You can see how soft the rice is at the minute. See, it's even cooked, but I'll leave it on low heat for some time so this is my rice almost done and i will go on to the soup we begin with the soup and this is what i'm doing so i've got little to no meat in the light soup so this is what i am doing now i have i mean boiled i would say boiled or softened some few oxtail that i had and i have my kobe here of course and this <laughs> this is to give it some more taste i have this um what's the name of this well you see it when it's done and my mushrooms i love mushrooms especially in um palm nut soup and granite soup so i add my chopped onions Everything is going in. So my salt, my pepper, my rosemary and thyme goes in. This is min minimalist soup. Add a little bit of water, more water on it. And leave it on for about a good, good 15 minutes. I'll come back to add my... See, so this is my frozen palm, palm nut um, fruit or palm fruit that has it's been frozen and my i've got my you see my my um granite paste which has been cooked already and frozen so don't waste food my dear don't waste food at all you can always freeze some of the foods or the the things you cook instead of putting in uh, putting them in the fridge i would always recommend you to freeze them because you never know when you need it. Okay, I'm back and I'm adding the palm fruit and peanut butter, which has been cooked already in there. A little bit of passata. You know, I love passata. I normally would work with passata then work with um fresh tomatoes because normally if you don't get the fresh tomatoes from farmers and all that you get the small ones in the supermarket i i don't really want to bother myself with that so this summer i'm planning to visit farms to see what i can get from there what produce i can get from them directly so my soup goes in this is frozen peanut butter soup it goes in here or granite soup and i'm mixing everything together <laughs> and this is my light soup so at the end of the day i'm going to get this new peanut butter 
palm nut soup mixed and mushed together. If you like this idea, give me a thumbs up. Write in the comments what you like about repurposing food. Because sometimes if you don't take time, all these I mean, frozen foods will stay in your freezer for a long time and you won't touch them and you throw them away. So I believe in picking them up and changing it for another purpose. So we use this for fufu. Today we're gonna to use it for rice balls. And it's gonna stay on for because of the palm fruit or palm nut, um, how do you call it? Let me know in the comment below. How do you call palm fruit that has been done already? Like in Kulenu. If you know, please let me know <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> I'm suffering here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> let me know in the comment below. <laughs> so, yes, because of that, we have to cook it for a long time. So I'm going to give myself about 30 minutes. Check for salt and everything and leave it on on medium heat and then drive my rice balls and come back to the soup but i need to check for salt because there's kobe in there as for kobe kobe and salt hmm. well mm. This is going to be nice, eh? It's going to be lovely. Our soup is finally ready. And what you can do is take the oil off the soup and put it in a small pot. You can heat it up for some 15 to 20 minutes. And that will be your oil for maybe another meal. So... We are done with the soup and we are going to enjoy it with our rice balls. If you've gotten to this part of the video, we would love to appreciate you for the love that you give to us. Please subscribe to this channel and also click the bell for notification. Do you have anything that you want us or you want to suggest for us to make any meal, any video, especially within our niche? Let us know in the comment below. We love you so much. Thank you guys. And I am going to enjoy my omoto.